we go. We got another great book from Peter Brown. This one's called My Teacher's a Monster. No, I am not. Bobby, he's got a problem. You see, his teacher's a monster. But when Bobby runs into his teacher outside of school, he learns there is more to her than meets the eye. My teacher's a monster. No, I'm not. Bobby had a big problem at school. Her name was Miss Kirby. Robert? Move it or lose it. Miss Kirby stomped. Settle down. Miss Kirby roared. No recess for children who throw paper airplanes in class. Miss Kirby was a monster. Bobby spent his free time in the park trying to forget his teacher problems. But one Saturday morning, on the way to his favorite spot, Bobby found a terrible surprise. <gasps> Bobby wanted to run. He wanted to hide. But he knew that would only make things worse. <sighs> Robert? You don't need to raise your hand out here. What were you going to say? I was going to say, uh, hello, Miss Kirby. Hello, Robert. I like your enormous hat, Miss Kirby. Thank you, Robert. Miss Kirby, it's really strange seeing you outside of school. I agree. Hm. There was an awkward silence, and then the gust of wind changed everything. That's my favorite hat! My dear old granny gave it to me. Don't let it get away. <laughs> Got it. Oh, Bobby, you are my hero. I mean, I mean, that was very good of you, Robert. You're welcome, Miss Kirby. Quack. Those ducks, those ducks sure like you. Quack, quack. They know I enjoy quacking with them. Quack, 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 quack. Quack, quack. Quack. Quack, quack, quack. Quack, 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 quack. When they were all quacked out, Bobby had an idea. You should tr you should uh, see my favorite spot in the park. Be careful. Yes, Miss Kirby. Oh, this is lovely. And then Miss Kirby had an idea. Hmm. <gasps> Paper airplane, I got in trouble for this. Bobby tossed his paper airplane in the sky, and it flew, and it flew, and it flew. I think that was the single greatest paper airplane flight in history. I think you're right. By lunchtime, Bobby and Miss Kirby were happy that they had bumped into each other, but they were ready to say goodbye. See you Monday, Bobby. Bye. Bye, Miss Kirby. Coming through. Back at school, Miss Kirby still stomped. And then the bear said, roar. Miss Kirby still roared. Great job, Bobby. But was Miss Kirby still a monster? <laughs> Robert. The end. There's Peter Brown. So maybe I can be a monster sometimes. Nobody's perfect. I think she's pretty similar to many teachers who can be very kind and loving and then flip a switch, monster switch. Hope you enjoyed. See ya.